Greetings everyone, welcome back to another uh, video and so today we are going to be playing the game The Coffin of Andy and Lele uh, So what I heard about this game is that apparently it's fucked up, yes um, <laughs> So uh, that's why we're playing it because I have a history of playing fucked up shit like Corpse Party But that's probably like the only fucked up shit that I played so whatever it doesn't really matter so I guess we should just get right into playing the coffin of uh, Andy and Lele, and plus it also seems like a pretty cool game. I was debating whether or not to buy it or not, but as you can see, I, I did buy it, so we can use the controller for this. Full screen, uh, fast forward, dialogue, menu, cancel, interact, run, move. Uh, WASD, easy to interact, or, or spacebar as well, menu, slash cancel, escape, XQ. Run a shift, fast forward dialogue is F. Oh, okay, whatever. I guess I'll use the keyboard. Um, okay. Episode one, the coffin. Yes, okay. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and, uh, blank, blank, K, blank, E, blank, T, blank, 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 T, H, U. I don't fucking know what she said. <laughs> I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. What? What? Or we'll get in trouble. Oh, what the heck? Is my microphone? Hold up one second. There you go. I had to fix my microphone. Good morning, Ashley. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh... As much as, as, as much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrition's To Not Die. Ready, set, go! What am I? What? I look really sad. Um, yes, I look really sad right now. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. Where should I go? Uh, this is where your, you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times, and it- and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait! What is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing! You should show that to your brother. Okay. Now where is my brother? God, I- I hate having to look up. Uh, I really need a monitor, because I'm use- I- like, I've mentioned it before, but I use my TV. So I'm looking up all the time, and it's a pain. Okay, whatever. Um, what's up, bro? You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Uh, quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in- Because I hid it there. Away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. Ugh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Don't you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No. Put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Yay, time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Yes, time, let's do that. Uh, cooking ourselves. Good day, are you still alive in there? Hello? If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food to the dead. You don't bring it- you don't bring it to the living either. Ha! I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. Don't blame me for those deliveries, guys. Screw up. Can't you go- get, can't you go grab something from- oh, off. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. No, wait! Wait, wait, come back! He doesn't. God damn it. Wow, so, we're stuck in here. Uh, you boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned soup. 
There's even a little bit of pepper, pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt though. You've, you, you've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I've ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. <laughs> okay. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Want to go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Okay. We're going to the balcony. Unlock the balcony. Why was the balcony locked from the inside? Hmm. Can't really see squat from here. Uh... Okay, so what do we got to do now? Really confusing because there's two of us. Uh, let's see. Uh, right here. I don't see anything. Maybe uh, we can find something. What's this? Oh, oh crap! Are you alright? These goddamn DIY, DIY shelves. I swear. Uh, got a wooden plank. Hmm. This. Your parents have fucked on this bed. Okay, did not really need to know that information, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> your parents have fucked on this bed, yes, definitely. But we got a, we got a, a plank, so maybe we can put it right here. Set down the wooden plank. Fuck yeah. Okay, now let's head over. Oh uh, wait. Okay. Oh demons from hell, hear my plea. Oh the unholy ones, I come seeking your, av your advice. Okay. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Uh, okay. What do you, uh, what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time that they let us watch TV? What? We get to watch TV? No way. Ain't no way, bro. We get to watch TV. Let's watch TV. Ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Man, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah. Woe is you. It is. Okay, we have to do, we have to do so much stuff. Yes. Take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that, but there's an old drawing on in the drawer. It says Andy and Lele and and the very very quiet. It all ca in all capital letters. Uh, okay. No, sorry. It's Andy and Lele and the very very quiet. As your original vision clearly intended it. Okay. <laughs> Your artistic abilities have not increased since. Yeah, you suck at drawing, Lele. Um, but whatever, let's come over here and watch this. Uh, I've got the remote right here. Nah, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope, I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I'm taking on the Herculean? <laughs> okay. I'm taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous joyous mo de okay. The joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water have been uh, delivered have been uh, secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, 
Thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued uh, consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. Okay, we decided to do the same. So we're quarantined. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom? Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyways, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Okay. Oh, Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in... It hurts like a motherfucker, okay. <laughs> there we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. Okay, okay. That's all for now. Take care. Uh, so I guess we saw what happens if not. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Ange there with you? What do you what up? Uh, what do you need me to pacify you for? You get your you get to lazy you get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Okay. We were abandoned. <laughs> After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of re uh, reminisc r r ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Okay, pick up some laundry, pick up some laundry, okay, uh, 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 you're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Oh, okay, um, let's see, it's a laundry machine. I need some more laundry, good laundry from here. Detergent, drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Okay, hey, let me get the mop, just so I can mop this, sh this stuff up. Mopping some dirt, mop some dirt, mop some dirt, and over here, mop some dirt. What else is there to take care of? Let's come over here. Is there any dirty clothes in here? No, but there's books, I guess. Cleaned up some books, cleaned up some books. Okay, you returned all the books to the shelves. Now what else? Clean. I guess the laundry. I don't see any more clothes in here. Maybe clothes over here. Okay. Yawn. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Uh, of course we do. I saw some deter er detergent earlier that was tempting to get, uh, to d get drunk or something. You run the laundry. Uh, what? What's happening? What's happening? You're feeling dizzy. And we're dead. Damn it, Ashley! I told you not to overdo it! Okay. We die. <laughs> Good news once again. Some of you may have heard your loved ones that there's, there's been supply shortages in the quarantine their household. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does that look like a meeting right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartment. No, your no, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be ad administrating bullets directly into your brains as thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness, bro. What the fuck? Bro, what the fuck was that? 
Uh, you're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? Uh, the shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the, of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all of the words. Always about... You don't you... Uh, or you don't... Lay and Ashley and... You've had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So... That's it then? Or th that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. All right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. A faint beep 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 of a dropped call can be heard. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone, uh, someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Okay, <laughs> now you've been out for who knows how long. You figured you should check out, check on your brother. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Damn, bro. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her, am her, her emergency? No idea. Nobody, sh nobody showed up when... Uh, when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you what What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. What are you talking about? I think they'd bring me food if I got. Pre nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body! He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows. He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of- Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That, that woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It was just a thought. Jackass. Okay. <laughs> You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you just- but you're just too exhausted. Bro, you just woke up! But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revi uh, revitalized and bursting with energy. What now? Um, why am I- <laughs> I died again. Oh no. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the, uh, get the energy to make such- Or make so much noise? Why are we in our parents' room now? I'm so confused. The bed that our parents fucked on. Yes. I can't- I can't interact with it anymore. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> um, what are you doing? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door down, door in. Or out, depending on your perspe perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? 
it's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop, if you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be. <laughs> okay. I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says says you. The delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door. Or next, it'll be me banging your head against the wall. Okay. <laughs> bros. Bros, weird. Uh, the man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get the delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though, I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. Of course, absolutely nothing was delivered, because nothing is ever delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try! So... Parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger? you think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want- don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not. Though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you if those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again, I wish he just... What? What the fuck? <laughs> you feel like you should check up on that. Uh, yeah. I feel like I should check up on that. Let's, let's go check up on that. Okay. My lord, you've come! And you're, uh... A little smaller than I imagined. I... I love it! It's better than I imagined, that's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um... I... I don't have much to give right now. But if you uh, help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that... or is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you! Thank you! Perish. Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Uh, well, so, uh, am I already delirious? Or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're dealing, or you make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, burglary, burglary time. Sh shut up and let's get in there. Okay. Um, what can we use? Why, why, why am I going back over there? Why, why am I doing that? Okay, whatever. 
The doorknob uh, taunts you from the other side of the glass. There's no doorknob on this side? What are you talking about? There's a doorknob like right there. Why can't you open it? Just got an ashtray. Oh, okay. Uh, I got I got an ashtray. Maybe we can use that. Door unlocked. Okay. Door is unlocked. Yes, door is unlocked. Okay. Fuck the guy. Turn off the music. The music sucks anyways. Let's see. Do we have any food? Both the fridge and the freezer are empty. We can't check. Uh, oh, we're here. On the counter uh, sits some cooking equipment. But yet, no cooking. So, hmm. 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 I wonder. Hmm. 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 These candles are fucking like melted as shit. Oh my god. Whatever. Let's let's let this guy. That's a lot of meat. You think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? It, isn't that what you were insi in in <laughs> insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once, they're, once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here at... Oh, Will the staff here admit that uh, they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you're going to tell you're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly? Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not, Andrew? I'm expecting an answer. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Or yeah. All right then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Damn, okay. I gave him such a deep voice for being a pussy. Um, wh whatever. Uh, this looks like a knife. Yeah, it's a knife. Uh, I wanna, I wanna check this out. The closet is big enough to hide in. Okay. Let's see, let's go over here. The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero, um, inclination to investigate further. How about I go- no. Okay. Uh, how about I knock him, so? So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist's right arm. Next up is the left arm. We can't carry him out, uh, out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No! Can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the, me in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that! Okay, okay. Uh, you hand him the cleaver. So we going to get bags? We going to get bags? Can we find the bags in the kitchen? Cause that's where we usually keep the bags. It doesn't look like there's any covers over here. Uh, you, you're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Uh, okay. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Uh, they, they can though, you know? Anything can be eaten. It, do it doesn't mean it's good. For you to be eating it. You got some okay, some plastic bags right there. How about I can I get the mop? How about I get just get the mop? Andrew must have returned this here. Okay, well I cannot get the mop. <laughs> I want the mop, bro. Whatever, I can't I guess <laughs> whatever. Let's let's head back. Hold up, what's this? The boxes are full of useless junk. Anything can have a use. You just gotta find that use. Um, but whatever. Uh uh, got right leg, uh, got right arm, or left arm, whatever, got left leg, got left arm, okay, um, how about the body? A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over. I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See? If... If anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Or maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! Uh... <laughs> Good God, no! Don't make me laugh at this! I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in the uh, freezer. 
I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite something. Ooh, okay. Uh, pff, looks like we're gonna go cook, uh, something. Uh, is this a freezer? Uh, you place the severed limbs in the freezer. Now which two wants to the left arm? Why not? All right, time to cook. Okay, you fry some meat. Dinner's ready. <laughs> right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch munch, huh? What? Oh, you already. Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. He begins... Uh, uh, well, whatever the fuck this said. No, you don't! What the fuck? Swallow. All of it. Oh, oh no. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your ga uh, gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud of you. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? I don't know, maybe... Um, cor coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Nighty night, or night night, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, good night. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Time is to, uh, to hit the hay. You fall asleep. Fully content with your life decisions. Damn, okay. <laughs> We're fully content with our life decisions. Let's just lay lay. Blank, blank, blank. Uh, blank. <laughs> uh, said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh, yeah? You're a girl, too? You're- Oh, yeah? You're a girl, too. God, bro. Is Lele a yandere? I know it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow, you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you! I am the most personest lady in the world! So anyway, I'm going to take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the, uh, the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. Heh <laughs> You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse, and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. So... Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best! Today's episode is titled Andy and the... And the Lele... And the Bitch in the Box. The fuck? One day, you'll be a bitch in a box, and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. Uh, okay. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you- where do you learn these words? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. 
Okay. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Oh, uh, okay. There he is. Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out, too! Oh. What's her name, bro? I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, she has a four-syllable uh, name. Or four-letter name, not syllable, whatever. Say, do you tell your- Did you tell your mom you're here? And no, why? Heh <laughs> just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I'm a- She thinks I went to study with Julia. But, why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention! What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap, don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right- right now. Okay, uh, this... The drop-off on the other side of the window is too high. Though I wouldn't mind convincing blank 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 to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can't go this way. Uh, okay. Uh, this way? Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing to the wall? Look. Uh, looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally cannot. Look, I literally cannot. Why do I say can't? Cannot. It's can't. As I, as in, I literally can't do it. Dumbass. Cannot would make would work as well because can't is just short for cannot, basically. <laughs> Not without some tools, at least. Huh? Even though it's this flimsy. Yes. I, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Uh, this? Right down here. Right down here? A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. As in help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah. In that case, no. Ugh, Lele. I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Let's keep looking. This looks like a hammer, and you said it was a nail shot, so we can just pull out the nails with the hammer. Got hammer. Okay. Let's use it. You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Okay. G <coughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty here. It makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Oh, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally want to play too, you child. I'll be, be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to a uh, hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... All right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised. Now hurry up before she's uncounting. Huh, that looks like a box. Mm. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something between the ring. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come! Oh crap, she counts too fast! It wasn't that fast, really. <laughs> Let's hide! Hide! Oh, where do I hide? Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Where do I hide? Right here. Okay. Uh, where do we get a stick anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this. I guess this will do. Uh, well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No. Who do you think, dumbass? Uh, she's fine, I guess. 
I gave this kid such a deep voice as well. Bro, bro's not even supposed to have a deep voice because he's a little bitch, but whatever. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? <laughs> I, it was my spot first, then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. Heh <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know, I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Heh <laughs> time to commit some murder. Time to commit some murder. Get in the box, you fucking bitch. Uh, think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad at hundred. Ah, oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Er, oh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. You're up? Haha, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I got you now. Blink, blink, blink. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. G <coughs> I, ca I can't breathe. <laughs> is she alright? <laughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Layla. Or Layli. She's just pretending. No one's ever died some from some dust. <laughs> Come on, just l let her out. What? You believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine. You let her out. Uh, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <laughs> Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her too. Bet everybody does. I already know. <laughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you I don't want. And bet. <laughs> but... You only hang out with me because mom told you to. That's, I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better lately. Prove it, liar. Goddamn. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I or, I knew it already. Did I not just say? La 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. God damn it! <coughs> there. Are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just un just until morning, okay? Yes, yes. You're the best. I like you the best, Andy. You hear that? Blink, blink, blink. You get to stay there until morning. Oh, please. <laughs> Ashley, let me out, please. <laughs> Ashley, wait, don't <laughs> go. Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Uh, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he, he died? Oh, yes. Um, sir... He summoned the demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah. I... We wouldn't have to had a... We wouldn't have had to admit uh, we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What? What the hell? Didn't we both agree to this? Or on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh whoosh. There goes my magic wand. Uh, there. I've absolved you of your sins. You've never took a bite now. 
You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Gruh. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be, uh, excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months, um, and then they won't even feed us? And in, and in cabin f- And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Ugh. There, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So, I needed to chop his head off. But, I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway... I kinda just... Uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant I don't... No, I don't know. I kept thinking about it. I can't fucking sleep, Ashley, it's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I, uh, compartmentalized. Kinda like we compartmentalized that guy into different freezers. Ashley. <laughs> Andrew, what is it? Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Hey! Or that was there. Hey, or whatever. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying! Wah wah, mommy, that big bad, bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, little bitch. Tch, forget it. Hey, Andy. Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Laylee's quest for something or another, remember? But why bring this up? Isn't this just about another one of those? Or isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I, I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Uh, let's just get out of here. Like we should have done this months like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no. I I don't Or hell no I don't. They throw us in jail right after, and I don't know which is worse, withering in this coffin or of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to es escape not only this quarantine but the consequences of our actions as well, preferably yeah. This episode is titled, Auntie and Laylee, the escape from the coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad. Uh, divining down the, uh, diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> okay, well, uh, uh, Laylee is fucking clinically insane. Yes. Um, <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling, uh, feeling might, mighty better today. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, whatever. Uh, where, where do we go now? Where is, uh, where is Andy? Where is Andy? He's not over here. Uh, he's not laying in the, um, in the bed our parents fucked on. Let's see, uh, late Andy. Andy's not over here. Uh, is Andy on the balcony? Andy, Andy's not on the balcony. Maybe Andy ain't be over here. Maybe, why would Andy be over here? But whatever. What the fuck are you doing over here, Andy? Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debating. Or debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, 
It says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So you're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them? Uh, I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think it's our best option for now. So what will we ask for him? What will we ask from it? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Uh where do we get souls? Where, where do we get a soul while we're stuck in here? Well, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't... Th uh, thought about it. I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Come on. It's not going to sacrifice you. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What is needed? Or what, what it need? Uh, what's it need? There we go. Not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay, candles. This candle needs to be replaced. Okay, uh, these are candles. Got two candles, and there's another one over here. Got another candle. Let's replace the candles. Right over here. Replace the candle. Okay, we we'll replace that candle. Let's replace this candle now. Okay, replace the candles. Now what? Done. What now? Now we. Oh shit. Still alive and kicking, are you? Even quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. <sighs> yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys, whatever. Uh, the weirder one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B type anyway. <sighs> Fine, I'll check it out. I'll check it after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get to get the guy or to get the door open just shut up for two days oh shit he's gonna come and he's gonna come in and see all this no 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 enough go stall him at our door i'll clean this up he's still gonna find the guy missing unless he checks the freezer which is where all the blood is pointing at no go before he notices we're at home and keep him until we've mopped up all the blood maybe then he'll s He'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a course below then. You get, uh, you you get to go. You get to be that corpse if you if you don't if you don't get going already. Okay, we need to clean up all the blood. That's a it's a lot of blood. Um, we got to get the mop right, because uh, that's where that's what we used earlier uh, to clean up all the shit on the floor. So let's get the mop. And go clean up all the blood on the floor. That's, uh, we uh, murdered some guy. Well, not really murdered him, but we chopped him up and shoved him in the freezer or whatever. I don't really know. Let's mop up all the blood. Let's mop up all the blood. All the blood. Go, go away, blood. Go away, blood. Uh, blood right there. Ashley, the warden is coming. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. You hide in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? I was not even gonna check the bathroom first. Oh great, another suicide. What the? Bro goes straight for the closet? Why go straight for the closet that I'm like hiding in? There's a bathroom right over there. There's a, a higher chance of him being in the bathroom than in the closet, bro. How did you get in here? What the fuck? Up. He had a cleaver, so why did it sound like he stabbed him? <sighs> Andrew doesn't seem to be, or seem to please with you right now. I wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Laylee. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was moving already. 
Uh, let's have to interact with the guy. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I eat. Oh, looky here. Got key to room 405. Okay, now we can dip. Let's go, we get to dip now. At last, you unlock the door and... The fuck are you doing? Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy. Uh, just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I had it? Look, I'm not saying I'm I'm not grateful, Andrew. I'm I I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm tr- Or, well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to- you're, You think you're going to find Mob and Dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse! I... okay. So you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly! Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be the... if you're going to be the flippiant about... Or if you're going to be this flippiant about... Or, that's actually... Andrew, whatever, I don't... Uh, I'm confused right now. My my mind is going all over the place. My vision's getting blurry, but whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about it, or about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as Im impervious to consequences. So you're, so you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you are? Uh, who do you think you're talking to? It's... I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's a, There's half... There's half of a dead guy in our freezer, with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm. All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy. What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls, or come or come flinging food up to our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my affection officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy's here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> alright, alright. Let's get the hell out of here already. God damn. Okay, that was a wild conversation. But, let's see. So, uh, uh... 403, 402, and 401. Which, uh... Room key did we have? I don't know. A note on the door reads, 2XA, 1XB. Oh, fuck. So, I think that means there's three people living in this apartment. 
And so what they were saying earlier uh, with the guy, he said that uh, the guy's a B or something. I think it's the level of contaminated they are. I think? That's what I'm thinking. It's the level of uh, contaminated they are with uh, the contaminated stuff, the level of their disease, from the, the parasites or whatever the fuck. I don't really know the worms. So I think, um, I don't know which is the worst. I think B might be the worst. Maybe, because there's two people living here that has uh, stage A, then one person living here that says B, and this guy uh, was a stage B, the guy we just um, mutilated, or whatever. <laughs> uh, this is our apartment, it says fuck off. This is all it took to keep us in, wooden board? It's okay, Andy, I don't have much muscles either. Uh, your eye is sad. Uh, your, your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words the opposite. Oh, uh, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? Paper slip taped to door reads 2XAB. What the fuck's that mean? Um, uh, so there's AB as well. What's the severity of AB? Is it worse? I assume it's worse than A and B. <laughs> I don't know. Um, probably. Whatever. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Unlocked the door. Okay, what's this one say? No on the reads these one XO, but it's crossed over. Huh. Maybe like O is another thing. Maybe they're just blood types. Maybe. Um, A, B. I, I don't even know what my blood type is. I know uh, blood types are blood type O. I'm pretty sure that's a blood type as well. So I'm pretty sure these might just be blood types. Probably. Maybe the blood types are- they're, they're like ranking people by their blood types or something? I don't fucking know. Because bro seriously did not like a, um, a B blood type. So I guess maybe they're ranked. But this guy may, might have been dead. This probably was the person that they were carrying off. You know, in the ambulance or some shit. But let's see, 401 was the... Uh, room key or what? What's this? Got key to room 302. Uh, what's this? Note on the fridge reads, Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. <laughs> Half eaten cup of noodles. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a toilet. There's nothing of interest there. So AB blood types. We're so far the only AB blood type here that I've seen because there's no other doors to that right over here. Um, yeah, the elevator is out of order because of course it is. So I guess AB blood types suck. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. They suck. We can't open that door. Um, so let's come over here. The door to the staircase is locked. Some emergency exit this is. Now where do I go? Uh, can I go this way? Can I go this way? No? Uh, how do I get places? I- I don't- What? What do I do? Uh... Are we supposed to go to room 3 or something? Uh, item... We have a balcony key, a key to 302, a key to 405. How do we get to 405? When you get to 405 room 302, how the fuck do you get there? Um, uh, maybe if I just keep walking this way? No? Maybe go the other way, maybe? Because these are 401, 2, 3. And then, actually, no, our room is 405. Because if I count them 1, 2, 3, and then it'll be 4 and 5. Our room is 405, or maybe this guy's room is 405. It doesn't really matter because I need to get to room 302. Don't know how I'm gonna get there. Um, but but yeah, I uh, gotta find a way there, I guess. <coughs> yeah, I have no idea. Um, look at I have a seven up. Uh, seven ups aren't aren't that good. <laughs> maybe there's something in here that I can find. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, god damn it. Yeah, I'm working on it. I can't find a way out at, at all. There's there's no way out. We're stuck. 
Holy fuck, okay, um, how the f how do we get out? Can I just- I completely forgot you can sprint. Can I- can, can, can't I just go down? Like, I can't open that for some reason. Oh, maybe the plant? There's a reason why a plant's here. A plastic plant. No, no, the plant can't do shit. I- I, I can't. What's this? There's just weird markings. Three, uh, three, 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 plus, 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 zero. I don't fucking know what that means. Um, maybe, does this guy have anything? I can't interact with him. Uh, maybe I turn on the radio. I can't turn on the radio. Um, huh. How the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I can't interact with anything anymore. Uh... Huh. I can't go anywhere. I have... I have zero clue. I have, I have like, zero clue. Um... Let me see. Let me check out the items, maybe. Items... It's the balcony key, the batteries... A uh, key to your next door cultist's room. Uh, there's no, there's not really a need to have this though, cause we, ha his room is unlocked. So what's the point in like in having that? But I don't know. Let me actually just save real quick, cause I haven't done that all game. <laughs> I don't think I've encountered any choices that will make me get a different ending. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, Maybe the plank of wood? No. Dude, what the fuck? How the- How on earth do I get out of here? I- I don't- I don't- I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm- I'm just gonna keep looking around, trying to see if I can find a way out. Okay, so I came back in here to, uh, look at more stuff, and apparently I can interact with this over here. This computer. <laughs> Looky, uh, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh? Let me see. Great. It's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope. He only had a key to the uh, cultist's room and a walkie-talkie. Ugh. Okay. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they're probably they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even th then, how are how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Found fourth floor key. Okay, well that was simple. Um, uh, go to third floor. Okay. It was, uh, 302, right? Uh, note, the door reads 1XA, but it's crossed over. So they probably either died or left. I don't know, because one, I think A is probably the best type. Because A, B is definitely the worst. As, yeah, definitely the worst. <laughs> A note on the door reads 2X and B. And then, uh, the Bs are just, I don't really know what, what Bs represent frankly <laughs> but let me just explore everything else before I go into 302 because I have the key to that room I can't go anywhere else so whatever 302 it is there's a woman over here watching TV being a lazy ass doodles and drawings hey, hey hold up don't you dare come any closer who are you your neighbors from upstairs what are you doing here get out well we found the key and Thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What do you- What do you- uh, What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long? I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wh wait. They actually bring food to you? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like bend, like bend over and open wide nicely. 
Ashley. Fuck you. Get out. Both of you. How dare you? Hey, did I give you permission to go to go there? Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Leave before I make a scene. How about I how about I how about I fuck up your table even more than it already is? Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. Um, do you have any food in your fridge? The fridge is full of food. You little bitch. How could you? Well, that was something. We could have just jacked your food. How come we got such different treatment? Why didn't- why don't they- uh, why don't I get food? Guess you're not- uh, guess you're just not pretty enough. Think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Uh, is- is it okay to leave her there after she saw us though? Probably not. But you go- you go in the swinging- uh, you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden, uh, comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist's uh, room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Come on! So ugly I- So ugly am I that- Uh, or so ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it, it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Goddamn. Okay. But well, can I read that note? Not gonna let me read a note, I see. Okay, whatever. Let's head back down to the to the cultist room. Uh to the fourth floor. And go to the cultist room. And do the do the ritual bullshit. Now what do we do? You double check if the warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you find is the walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then? indicates time is running out for us big deal at that point we're screwed anyway hey what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul that's not a bad idea actually two birds with one stone though he'll come in guns blazing oh right uh, let me think got walkie talkie well while you're at it i'll ready the ritual for us what do i need to do I don't remember. Check the guidebook. Okay, uh, where is the guidebook? Let me think. It's right here. So what's, so what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Uh, sure, we need blood. This guy has blood, so give me your blood. You dip your digits in one of the uh, warden's wounds. Got blood. And these are the runes, right? You know, they just look like pentagrams, but whatever. Uh, let's, let's redraw them. Let's not leave. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's just redraw those runes. I have an idea! Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure- What the fuck? And, uh, how are we going to make her do that? You know how. Ha! Huh. Alright then, let's go. Convince her? Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on their audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, we didn't want to keep the demon waiting. Uh, okay. So let's go up to uh, room uh, 300 or whatever. And uh, go fuck- I mean, uh, go, uh, go convince the girl to... Uh, uh, to, to send the warden after us or something. I don't know. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Who? Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me! What's going to happen now? Uh, what's going to happen now? 
Is that you coo into this walkie-talkie? Uh-huh. Tell them that you and your friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand. We'll slit your throat. Uh, or you only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please. I'll do anything. Or I'll do it. I'll tell them anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Uh, who's there? Uh, hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um. Hehe. <laughs> nothing. I'll be ready. To, I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I'll let go of her now, and what- I'd let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise! Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass! Fine. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Laylee, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got lighter. Okay, we have a lighter. You hurry back to finish the ritual. Okay, let's finish this ritual quick. Oh shit, I didn't mean to pause. Uh, ritual quick. Let's turn on the weird ass music. Turn on the weird ass music. Turn on the uh, audio. Yes. Um, light the candles. Let's light these candles. Oh, bam. So now what am I supposed to do? Wow, I'm summoning someone. Uh, something is here. Who are you? I can I can't see. You are asking me my name, human. Uh What do you offer? Yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shot. The warden reaches for his gun. Uh, him! I offer him! Oh, what the... Uh! Goddamn. Okay. So, uh... Well... How is it? Human with tar-colored soul. I give you this. What is that? Got unidentifiable small object. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. Okay. The entity has left. And you're still alive. Unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get it. I didn't get its name nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is, the warden is dead. And if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Okay, time to head back up to Onichan. Um, <laughs> well, don't just fucking leave. Check the warden's pockets. So fine, fine. Got, got kids for, uh, for two. Um, got gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. Uh, okay, let's go shoot the lady. Uh, cause why not? Go to third floor. Uh, no, go to- go to third floor. How about I just go to second floor without Andy? How about I actually go and shoot Andy? Why, why don't I- why don't I do that? Sadly, your plans of splattered the- splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. You can still do it. She might be dead, but she still has brains. Not like her brains disappeared. <laughs> her corpse already reset to the- uh, rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. 
Oh, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Gruh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while a risk while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you That's me that's me speaking. Whatever. Bro. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time I wasn't trying to Okay, first uh where did the nail gun come from? Why does she randomly have a random ass fucking nail gun in her room? Which actually kind of would make sense because she's building a shelf. But she stopped building the shelf, you know, kind of would make sense if she had a nail gun. Whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? But the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her! And even if I... And even if I... Well, what the f And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What is- what's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and rest off- <laughs> What the f- <laughs> And the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ass. I'm not. I said ask. Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I. No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note. Will you back the fuck off my love life? Ash Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone. Uh, if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis that- uh, The moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you're bl Bet you bloody love it here when- I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Ha! I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I- Fuck, what a prime example of your- You just- You! <laughs> You would. Uh, you would. You would. I know it already. I'm I'm right. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you, you know? Uh, I I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call. Just like it was back then. Back when. Or whatever. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend, why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done it nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Ugh, of course we are. Just forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden! Which one? Neither! You did, and the demon! I'm all innocent! I've not harmed a single soul! 
Of course not! You make me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the- You chopped the bastard up all you by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock the- Blink, blink, blink. In that crate. Where the fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. So... That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You choose to do it. You choose to do it. Whatever. And you choose me! You choose me! Me! You... <laughs> okay. You you backpedaling fuck of a brother! You chose me! You did! You did! Ah. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't, cuz. I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night, when you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would. Like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... Blank, 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 blank. Did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just hand you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said, there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me, Anyway, and fuck you. If if it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <coughs> I don't give a shit about. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one, no one knows it was us. So what does it matter? As long as it's just us. You saying you'll be, you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though, I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ha! <laughs> That's right. Our quest continues. What do we... What do we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay. But I'm not going by... I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate lately. Like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Now let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the key to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> let's get out of here, Andrew. Okay, let's dip. Let's dip. That was fucking... Okay. Uh, go to the second floor. This floor is green, and there's surveillance cameras. Let's just say. It's not gonna let me read it. I see how it is. I want to know more about these people. Let me know more about those people. I want to know more about the people. But there's a door over there, so... That door is probably important, so let's go to that door. Ah, uh, look! An open window! Oh, that's a window. Great. Jump! Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your- You really don't want to take your chances with that? Damn it. Isn't there, like, a rope or something we can use to climb down? Huh. Huh. What if we climb down the window using the carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I, while I descend. Oh, yeah? And I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no, it won't. 
we've got to set up something to uh we got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down well let's leave it by the window for now got carpet huh what can we use maybe this uh the elevator is out of order what can we maybe the sofa actually let me see can i interact with the sofa no i can't i can't interact with anything on this floor so i guess i'll just have to uh go find something on another floor you need something secure to uh, hold the carpet okay um which floor should i look at though maybe the third floor actually the nail gun maybe the nail gun maybe we can nail gun the the, the floor stuff the the carpet to the floor let me see ah oh, god damn it go over here actually i didn't i don't think i checked the body let me check the body dead as stone uh your happiness is immeasurable okay maybe the nail gun got nail gun yes yes i knew it i knew it we can use the nail gun okay let's go uh the two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall it doesn't look safe there has got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. <sighs> Alright, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Okay, we're, um, we're down. Fuck yeah. Okay. What's this? It's a gate. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town. And then find a buffet restaurant. Oof. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it. And all figured out. Good God. I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first. Skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I... Even then, I don't think that's going to. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Uh, less we'll li- Unless we'll live, uh, a under a bridge or something. Like trolls, who will eat those who, who won't pay the toll to cross. Ha ha ha. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but- well, How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Ha <laughs> ha. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise. I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Suppose supposedly I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I well I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you... Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> you get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. End of episode 1. Vroom vroom, motherfucker. Wanna save or something? Save game. I will save here. Episode 2 is called Graves. Okay. Can I pause here? No, okay. Uh, the consequence of your actions have yet to catch up with you. While well, is nice. But actually, you know what? Since I saved at that point, I'm gonna end the video here. Yes. Um. Uh. This is the end of the first video of um this game. I completely fucking forgot the name of it. What was it called? The Coffin of Andy and uh, Laylee. Yes, that's the name of the game. Even though we're no longer Andy and Laylee, that was only episode one. They're no longer Andy and Laylee, they're Andrew and Ashley. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, I'm enjoying this game so far. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, so yeah, uh, subscribe if you have not all already. But either way, guys, I, uh, I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye bye